Hello, my friends. Welcome back to JPTV. I am James Park, so let's get into it. Enough about my face. Check out these cakes I got, though. They're Maui's. They have so much room in the tote section. I'm about to jump a 270 off the back flip. If you are wondering why I don't debate or argue with women anymore, let these next clips show you why. Some of these ladies can be instigators. I'll tell you what. We'll sign a national abortion ban. It's a lie. I'm not signing a ban, and there's no reason to sign a ban. Understand, in his Project 2025, there would be a national abortion a monitor. What she says is an absolute lie. There is no state in this country where it is legal to kill a baby after it's born. Nowhere in America is a woman carrying a pregnancy to term and and in asking for an abortion. The infant would be delivered. Uh, the infant would be kept comfortable. Uh, the infant would be resuscitated if, if that's what the uh, mother and the family desired. And then a discussion would ensue between the physicians and the mothers. Donald Trump, the candidate, has said in this election there will be a bloodbath if this and the outcome of this election is not to his liking. It was a different term, and it was a term that related to energy. We're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line and you're not going to be able to sell those guys if i get elected now if i don't get elected it's going to be a bloodbath let's remember charlottesville there were fine people on each side very fine people on both sides and i'm not talking about the neo-nazis and the white nationalists because they should be condemned totally tim walls and i are both gun owners we're not taking anybody's guns away Let us an assault weapons ban and universal background checks and red flag laws. So debating with some of these females out here, it'd be like that. This next clip is from the same, very same debate, but this one hits home, or maybe it hits away from home. And as of today, there is not one member of the United States military who is in active duty in a combat zone in any war zone around the world. The first time this country, what? But let's understand. So where do we run <laughs> So perhaps they were actors. You know who aren't actors? These are real life ties to realize, realize, realize. Take a look. I just want to say how much I appreciate Puff Dan for, for doing the kinds of work that he's doing because he doesn't have to do this. Uh, but this is part of what is important about giving back. Since we applaud you, I and, and I want to apologize for not sweating, but I but I do this so much. I, I'm so cool. I just want y'all to see everybody I'm interviewing is sweating. I'm not even touching my brow. I'm so cool, and I want to apologize. I ain't trying to make you look bad or nothing like that. But I'm just so cool. Um, we 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 we, we, we. a t-shirt. <laughs> I tell you, if he was wearing one of those fancy designer clothes he's designing, he'd be sweating just like me. Would you be sweating if certain people had? certain things on you in certain compromising positions. Others, like this young lady we're about to hear from, cry out that this is just a distraction from really what's going on. P. Diddy is the distraction. So apparently the CEO of the shipping container that hit the bridge in Baltimore was the CEO that backed up in a pond in Texas in her Tesla and drowned. Angela Chow, Mitch McConnell's sister-in-law. Senator Mitch McConnell announced he was stepping down two weeks after the CEO's death. Do we think the events are related or do we think it's a coincidence? I love you. Have a good night. Apparently, people love you before you become president. Then after, all these kinds of people are hating on you for whatever reason. That is crazy to me. But you know what? As the news is telling us, Haters wanna hate, lovers wanna love. I don't even want none of the above. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.